All right, welcome everyone to At Home Tone. We're gonna to get started with a nice warm up. We're gonna roll our shoulders up and down our back, nice and slow. Get some blood flowing in there. I have a different style of workout for us today. We are going to be doing um, light, medium, and then hard weight. So let's go forward, roll our shoulders forward. So switch directions. I'll explain the workout once we do it, but um, the goal is to get our muscles nice and pumped. All right, let's do some front taps, reach out. Let's tap in the air, reach it up high when you do that. Feel your, feel your ribs pull away. Let's do a side bend. So bend to the side and reach. I like to pulse a little bit to get just a little deeper. Let's switch sides, reach. Come back up, let's stretch out our neck, bring your ear to your shoulder. Let it hang there for a moment. Switch sides. Bring your chin to your chest. Look up in the sky. Then roll it all the way around. And then the other way. Let's move our ribs from side to side. Get a little act, warm up in the abs. And let's stick our chest out, cat and cow. Stretching the chest and back. And let's bring our arm across our chest, drop the shoulder away from the ear. Feel that nice stretch in the deltoid. Let's switch arms. The stretch feels good. All right, and let's do a little extra. We're gonna reach up to the sky, bring it down low, touch the ground. Do this a few times. Awaken the whole body. Get the back, the abs, the arms, all working together. All right, and stop. So now we're gonna face our anchor. So go to your anchor point and you are going to be facing it. And um, what you want to do is have enough uh, be far enough away from your anchor so that you have resistance on your bands when they're in your hands. So I think I'm going to move back a little to, so I have resistance. And what I'm going to do is I have my lightweight, my medium weight, and my heavy weight, and I'm starting with my lightest weight. My lightest weight is my yellow weight, and I have my handles on my yellow weight. What we're going to do is we're going to do 15 reps with the lightweight, and then we're going to do 10 reps with medium weight, and then we're going to do five reps with the heavy and then another five with the heavy. So the first round is like a warm up. The second round is part of the workout. And the third and fourth round is when you're really going for it. So hopefully your muscles will uh, reach a point of exhaustion. At first it's gonna be easy and then it gets uh, more difficult. So we're starting with our lightweight facing our anchor and we're gonna do simply bicep curl. So palms facing the ceiling, uh, biceps, close to your sides, keep them in. And we have 15 bicep curls with our light weight. Here we go. One, two, three, four. There's 10, 10 more, or five more. There's 15, finish out your 15. If you're not going at my pace. All right, now we're gonna to switch to our uh, medium weight. For me, that is my glue band. So I'm gonna switch out my handles, put my handles on my glue band. You'll get pretty speedy at this because 
We're gonna do it for a bit. And if you uh, don't have access to switch out your handles that quickly, just move farther away from your, your band. That will give you more resistance and uh, increase your workout. The goal is to increase the poundage each, each uh, time we go up. So now we're gonna do 10 bicep curls with the medium weight. Here we go. One, two, three. There's 10 for me. All right, let's switch to our heavy weight. And we're gonna do two reps of five. So go at your own pace once you switch to your heavy weight. You should probably go slow because this should be like the most amount of weight you can lift. If you have to move yourself back farther, you can do that. But I want the heavy weight to be very, very challenging where you're really struggling to lift it. Cause we only have five reps. We're gonna take another rest and then we have five more. So here we go. If you're ready, do your five reps. I'm gonna go now. One. There's five for me. All right, looks like everyone's done their five. If you need more weight, go ahead and do that. Back up a little if you want to challenge yourself even more. Let's go five more with the heavy weight. Here we go. One, two, it should be very difficult. And there's five for me. All right, drop those weights. Now we're going to do the same uh, idea, but different move. So let's move those uh, handles back to the lightweight. That's your yellow weight. If you have the same color bands as I do. And our next move is uh, tricep extensions. So we worked our biceps. Now we have to work our triceps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean forward. You might have to bring your chair back a little. You're gonna lean forward. Pinch those shoulder blades together, elbows back, and then you're going to extend at the elbow. Bring it in, extend at the elbow. And we have 15 of these with the light weight. Here we go. One, two, three. There's 10 for me. And there's 15 for me. Wait for everyone to finish up. All right, now switch to your medium weight. I got my medium weight set. This should be about 25 to 35% strong, more resistance than your other one. So if you need to make it harder, feel free to do that. All right, we got 10 of these. Here we go. One, two. There's 10 for me. Switch to that heavy weight. We got two reps of five. You're gonna get really good at switching these handles back and forth. If you don't feel like switching the handles, you can just grab the, the band as it is. That works just as well. All right, this should be your toughest weight. You should be done with it and feeling like, whew, I don't know if I can do any more. So here we go, let's go one set of five. One, two. Here's five for me, take a second break. 
All right, and five more. There's another five. Let's switch back to our light weight. Once you're done, and we have a new move. All right, I got my light weight back on. And our next move that we're going to do is uh, bent over rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean forward, drop my hands by my side, squeeze my shoulder blades together, bring my arms up, drop it down low, squeeze, and drop it down low. We have 15 of those with the light weight. And then we move on to that medium weight. So go, here we go, 15. One, two, three, There's 10 for me. And there's 15 for me. Switch out that weight to your medium weight. If you don't feel like using the handles, you don't have to. Give everyone a second here. All right, lean forward. Here we go for 10. One, two, three. There's 10 for me, switch it out to that heavy weight. The heavy weight should be super hard. I'll give everyone a moment here. All right, five rows with the heavy weight. Here we go. One, two. There's five for me, take a second break. All right, five more, here we go. And there's five. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the switching over bands uh, for couple minutes here and then we're going to go back to the band. So just keep your setup just like that. You should have two bands free that don't are not in the, uh, the, the anchor. Grab one of those. If you want to challenge yourself, grab the thicker one. If you want a little easier day, grab the thinner one. I'm grabbing my red one. And we're just going to use the band as it is free. So you all should see a uh, blue sky timer in your bar up above. I'm going to put a timer on there so you can uh, watch the time tick by. We're going to do a, a workout for a minute and 30 seconds um, and switching moves every 30 seconds. So that timer will just give you an idea of how much timer, how much time is left in the workout. So our first, what we're going to be doing for that minute and 30 seconds with the free band is we're going to do pulses. So you're going to stick your hands out grab the bands about shoulder width apart, and then you're going to separate them and bring it in quickly. So nice pulses. We have this for 30 seconds in front of us, and then we're bringing our arms up in the air. We have it up in the air for 30 seconds, and then we have behind our back for 30 seconds. So I will start that timer. It's You'll see it count down and I will call out when to uh, switch positions. So here we go. 
One second, and three, two, one, begin. Pulsing in front of us for 30 seconds. Well, it looks like I have three minutes on that timer. We're only doing this for a minute 30. So once it says 2.30, we'll switch. Keep going, your muscles should feel activated. This is good for toning. When the heavy weights we were doing were good for bulking. Got two seconds left and then we're in the air. In the air, go. Up in the air, keep pulling it apart. We're working our deltoids, our trap. When it's in the air, working our back. When it says two minutes, that's when we go behind our back. Five seconds left. And behind the back, go for 30 seconds. Keep pulsing, see how fast you can go. Challenge yourself to go faster. Got 15 seconds left. Five seconds to go, you can do it. And rest, good job. Take a sip of water. I'm gonna stop our timer here. Bring us back to the workout here. All right, grab some water. We're gonna do something similar to that again, uh, but different moves. So we have another minute 30, and then we're gonna move back to our lightweight, medium weight, heavyweight. So what I'm gonna do is put the same free band behind my back, and then I'm going to fold it, grab some of the extra stuff, the extra dangly stuff, so that I have enough tension on it. So whatever that looks like for you. And what we're going to do is we're gonna do 30 seconds of three activities. The first one is you're going to punch your arms out together at the same time, bring it in, punch out, bring it in. So we got 30 seconds of that. And then we have 30 seconds of out and in, out and in. So 30 seconds of that. And then our last one, is arms up, arms down, arms up, arms down. If you can't put both arms up in the air, you can, with your other hand, hold it and just do your one arm like that. All right, let me get that timer going again. I'll put it, uh, here we go. We'll begin in three, two, one, begin. Start punching out. You got 30 seconds of this. Go at a moderate pace. You wanna challenge yourself here. You want your muscles to feel fatigued. That's a goal that we're going for. That's that pump feeling. You got five seconds left and then we're teeing out those arms. All right, tee out the arms, go. 30 seconds here. This is great for that chest. Feel it. Gets your heart rate up too. You're doing it quickly. 10 seconds here, and then we're up in the air. All right, up in the air, go. Keep moving. This really burns those deltoids, the traps. My heart rate is elevating. Moving the arms in the air, we'll do that. 10 seconds to go. Keep moving, guys. And rest. Good job, everyone. Let me stop this timer and grab a sip of water. And then we're gonna move back to that anchor doing the light, medium, 
uh, and heavy, but we're going to have our backs uh, facing the anchor this time. So I have my handles on my lightweight, which is my yellow. And my back is to my anchor. Like this. All right. And then what we're going to do is you're going to put your handles uh, by your shoulders. If you want to challenge yourself, this is too challenging for me, but if you can put those hands up in the air like that, I prefer to have my hands by my shoulders. It's just easier for me. And uh, if you have long hair, careful for your long hair, the bands can get caught in your hair and pull your hair. So be careful for that. Tuck it um, in your shirt or something. So what we're going to do is lean forward, come back up, lean forward and come back up. If you wanna add something, lean forward with those arms extended like this. All right, we have 15 of these. Here we go. One, two, There's 10 for me, I have five more. There's 15 for me. All right, you're gonna drop that and you're going to switch it out for the uh, medium weight. Give everyone a moment here. A little more challenging to switch it out when our backs are to the anchor. We only have two rounds of this, so don't worry. We won't be doing it for that much longer. All right, medium weight. Here we go, we're doing 10. Go, one, two, There's 10 for me. And switch it out when you're done with that 10 to that heavy weight. This should be the most challenging. We're working our back muscles here. You should feel it. Heavy weight gives a lot of resistance. Give everyone just a moment. All right, whenever you're ready, do your first five. Here we go. One. There's five for me. Take a second to rest. And then we have five more. 
Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. All right, we're just going to, because it's so challenging, or it's, it takes a lot more time to change out the uh, bands. We're just going to go heavy to low for this next one. So we're doing a different exercise, but we're just gonna keep the black band. We're gonna do our heavy exercise first, so you don't have to change it out. Um, we're just gonna keep that black band on there to make it just a little easier for us. So the next exercise we're going to do is chest presses. So uh, my hand, I'll show you a front view. My hands are at my shoulders, pressing out, coming back in, press out, coming back in. And we're gonna keep that heavy weight on just for this round, cause it's easier. So press and in, quite challenging with this heavy weight. We only have five of these, here we go. One, two, There's five for me. Take a second to breathe. All right, five more. Here we go. One, two, Whew, there's five more for me. All right, let's change it out to that medium weight. If it's too challenging, you can just keep that uh, heavy weight on if you want. All right, I got my medium weight on. And here I go. We got 10 chest presses. Here we go. One, two. There's 10 for me. I'm going to switch it out to my lightweight. Give everyone a second to do that. So I have my lightest weight on. And I have 10 more, uh, I have 15 of these. 15 chest presses with my lightweight. Here we go. One, two, three. Here's 15 for me. All right, we're done with our back towards the anchor. Uh, and now we have, if you think that wasn't enough heavyweight exercise, we're going to do um, some, we're going to do all, what was that? Five of those exercises, just with the heavyweight for five reps. So move, uh, face your anchor, put your uh, handles, on your heaviest weight. And we're going to do five bicep curls, five tricep extensions, five rows, five back extensions, and five chest presses, all with the most difficult weight. So this should really uh, fatigue your muscles. Heavy weight is good for gaining muscle. And we're only doing five reps, so it's nice and low reps, heavy weight. All right, so I have my, my bands on my heaviest weight, move myself back enough so I have enough tension, so it's challenging for me. And our first exercise is five bicep curls. So whenever you're ready, here we go. One, two, There's 
There's five for me. All right, here we go with tricep extensions. Lean forward, squeeze those blades back, extend for five. Let's go. One, two, Here's five for me. All right, you guessed it. Next are rows, so bent over rows. Bring those arms to up and here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we got to turn our back towards our anchor, we still, are keeping that heavy band on. We're gonna do our back extensions. So back towards the anchor, put those bands by your shoulders or arms up in the air. I'll give everyone a moment here, get set up. All right, here we go. Five extensions. One, two, there's five for me. All right, last one, chest presses. So five chest pressed. Here we go. One, two, remember to breathe. All right, there's five for me. We're gonna drop those uh, handles and grab that loose band that you have. We're gonna move back on to that loose band. And I'm going to give you an option of legs or arms. So if you wanna work your legs, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna wrap your band around your legs, uh, wrap them around the, the, your thighs, cross them behind your legs, and then buckle them together like that so you have a loop around your legs. If you'd like to work your arms, just loop, make this into a loop, buckle it so that you have two loops on your hands and then you're gonna put your wrists in between that like this. So whatever you choose to do, legs or arms, I'll show arms first and just imagine that my legs are wrapped around with this band. So I'll give everyone a moment here. All right, so if you're doing legs, what you're going to do with your band wrapped around your legs is you're going to do marches. So you're gonna pick one leg up at a time and march in place. Try not to move the back like this, have a nice, uh, straight back, picking up one leg at a time. And then if you have, if you're doing arms, it's the exact same move, but with arms. So my, my palms are facing down, my arms are straight and I'm lifting one arm at the, uh, up at a time. What you have to make sure you do is the arm that's not lifted has to stay strong. So it's like you're trying to pull them apart and each arm is strong because if I let this arm go down and I'm not gonna get any resistance. So I have to like provide that resistance for myself. And um, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. So I'll bring our timer up and we'll begin in once it's 50. So we'll begin in one second. All right, here we go, marching. March those legs. Doing it for 30 seconds here. If you're doing arms, keep moving those arms. Got 10 seconds here. All right, and rest. Good job. Stop my timer. Okay, the next move is you're going to, if you're doing legs, you're going to uh, 
Lift up, step out, bring in. Lift up, out, in. Just the left leg, out and in. Like that. You probably won't be able to go that far because you have the band on. If you're doing arms, your right arm is staying still, moving the left arm out. So moving it out, left arm is still. All right, we have it for 30 seconds. Here we go and begin. Legs or arms, moving that leg or arm out. Nice control in the trunk. This is gonna hurt the hips, but that's good. We have about five seconds left. And rest, good job. All right, we got the other side. So if you're doing legs, just pick up the other leg. For me, it's my right leg, move it out. If you're doing arms, just move your right arm or your other arm out to the side. I'll start our timer. Here we go in three, two, one, begin. Move that leg out. Keep going. We have one more exercise after that and then we stretch. So you're almost there. I know these really hurt the hips, but that is good. Hips can be not worked out as much as they need to be. Help you with walking. All right, and stop. Good job, everyone. Last exercise we have is we're doing them together. Surprise. So uh, if you're doing legs, separate both legs at the same time. And then if you're doing arms, separate both arms at the same time. All right, we got it for 30 seconds. Here we go, begin. Separate those legs or arms, whichever one you're doing. This is our last exercise. So keep moving. Ten seconds left. And rest. Good job, everyone. We're going to stretch. I'll start, stop this timer and then we'll be done for the day. So let's bring that arm across the chest, drop the shoulder away from the ear. Feel that nice stretch in the deltoid. Well deserved after today's workout. Take some deep breaths. Let's switch arms. Drop the shoulder away from the ear. Let's bring our arm behind our head, scratch our back, bring the elbow down, and then pull the bicep away from the ear so that it's not scrunched. Let's switch arms. If you need assistance, you can use the band. You can hold on to the band if you can't lift your other arm, and you can pull it down. Pull the arm down with holding the band. All right, let's clasp our hands behind our backs, stick our chest out. And then if you are able, lean forward and bring those arms up. If that hurts, don't do it. You can come back up. Let's do a nice twist to one side, look over your shoulder. Twist the other way. Look over your shoulder. All right, and that concludes our class for today. See how everyone's doing.